Hello everyone, come on in. Feeling better? About 97% there. I'm excited. So forgive me, I'm running a load in the dishwasher. If you hear a little background noise, welcome to my home, to my struggle kitchen. Um, I had some dirty dishes I wanted to get started before we got started. So please allow me to introduce myself for anybody new here. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to yet another struggle cooking class where hopefully I don't knock over my equipment like I did yesterday. So embarrassing, but we carry on, <laughs> we carry on, we carry on. So I am going to take attendance. If you would like to be counted present in class, feel free to announce yourself. If you would like to watch from the clouds, ninja watching, you are most welcome here. We are always the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. So tonight I am so excited that one of our own has provided me a recipe I am going to recreate live for you all today. Have I ever made it before? No. Has it ever stopped me? No, it probably should, but somehow I keep coming back. Christina, and Christina, let me know how to pronounce your last name. Is it Gustave? Is it Gustave? I want to make sure I get it right, but you all know her and you love her. Christina from New Hampshire. Let me know if you got your happy mail. If you all were with me yesterday, we had Taco Tuesday and I made tacos for Marcus and then I made a taco for myself in the air fryer. And I used the jar salsa. Shout out to our brother yesterday who came through <laughs> buying salsa. And Christina mentioned in the stream that she had a homemade salsa recipe. And I said, well, say no more. So I did a grocery order of exactly what she told me to get. So we are going to recreate Christina's recipe. Is this thing straight, y'all? I can't tell. Is it crooked? I don't want to touch it. You know, I'll knock it over. Okay, so I'm going to reheat leftovers. The boys are gone. They're at their dad's, hence the happy dance. Sorry, but y'all already know. So you have me all to yourself. Um, so let me know, Christina, if you think we should do, I can't decide if I should do a quesadilla or if I should do an open face taco, like a tostada. All right, so I'm going to come on over here and we will take attendance on TikTok and then Instagram and then you all, and then we will get it, uh, get it started. All right. So hello, everyone. TikTok. Hello, Koi. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Ronnie. Thank you for being here. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, LL. Thank you all, Auntie Jean, hello user. Thank you all so much. All right, who do we have over here? Let's see if I can touch it without messing it up. All right, on IG, we have Lifted Lotus. Hello, Corey. Hello, Craig, uh, Craig Music. Hello, OJ. Hello, uh, Kelvin. Hello, Tamika. Hello, Lil Marcus. All of y'all on Instagram and TikTok. If you want to, you can come to MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. All right? Thank you all so much. But if you want to stay where you are, I'll make sure to include you in all of the visuals. All right? And who do we have over here? Ah, coming in from Germany, we have Jürgen. Jürgen always coming through with his play. We've missed you. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. So good to see you as always. Our uh, recipe creator, you all know I always love giving credit to the recipe creator. We have Christina Gustave. I believe she says I said it right. Thank you so much. Can't wait. Um, and I'll drop the link. I know you are um, watching from the clouds, but if you want to talk, you do not have to be camera on, or we can just have you in the chat. But let me make sure I thank you for this recipe. I'm super excited. We have Geneva Madison. Hello. She says, hello, Maggie. Hello, sweetheart. We have Nate. She says, hello, dear. Hello, darling. So good to see you as always. Christina's excited. I'm excited. Who's excited? First of all, I'm excited because 
of all the cuisines, Latin flavors are probably my favorite. I love cilantro, a little bit of heat. I just love all that stuff. So I'm very excited to make this. Nate says, I got my mojo back. Yeah, let me slow down before I hurt myself, right? You know how you get, you're like, ooh, I'm feeling better. And then you just start going at it. So um, adjusting since I've come back from Greece, I feel fine. It's just the food in Europe is so good. Just coming back to what we have has been a little bit of an adjustment, but uh, thank you so much, sweetheart. I appreciate you. We have uh, Brenda C. She says, hey, Maggie, I love that color on you. Gorgeous as always. Thank you. I was going to donate this dress. This is a bright orange <laughs> dress. It's a very girly, swirly uh, dress. It was supposed to be my, um, when I went to Greece, Hi! we got a stream sponsor already. Hold up. I'm coming back. Y'all know stream sponsors come to the front of the class. Thank you so much for being here. Clout Chasing coming through with the support. He says, hello class and Maggie, the substitute teacher. Let's a productive course. Yes. Hopefully class will be productive. I always try to teach you all something. Hopefully you learn something. If not, hopefully you have a good time. But thank you for the $2. I will receive it graciously. I appreciate you so much. I didn't find $2 in your laundry. So I'm going to put Clout Chasing up on the board as our stream sponsor. And the stream sponsor is the person that gives the biggest Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold blooms, whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes, absolutely. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, thank you, Teddy. I appreciate the compliment. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Y'all like it? Okay. Yeah, I like orange, too. Tell me you're African without telling me you're African. I love the bright primary colors. All right, clout chasing. Let me get you on the board. Thank you so much. And I believe you also have a YouTube channel. So you all please check him out. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, so yes, thank you for the compliment. I'm glad you all like the color. I'm wearing many dresses. What I was uh, saying is that, um, hello everyone coming in. I was planning on wearing this. Well, I did wear it in Greece, but I wanted to have one of those flowy pictures, you know, where the, the dress is like, like a little bit of a Marilyn Monroe moment, you know, like, but alas, I did get a picture, but it was from far away. Someone was taking it. It is what it is. But thank you for the compliment. All right. So Christina, I got your name right. She says tostada. You got it, sweetheart. So we will do an open face taco and put your salsa all over it. Cloud Chasing is present in class. Hello, sir. And we have Linda with the love notes. She says, hello, Maggie. Thank you so much for being here. You all like the orange? Okay. I'll see if I can some, find some more orange. I'm glad you all like it. All right, everyone doing well? Okay, so let's start by cleaning the counters, washing my hands, getting my uniform on. Then we're going to go through Christina's ingredients, get them out, and start chopping it up. Right? Hello, everyone. So this salsa that we are making is... And I had to ask because I didn't know. So y'all, if you don't know, do not struggle, ask. I didn't know if I needed the blender for this recipe. Thank you for the likes. I didn't know if I needed the blender for this recipe, if we were gonna puree it or food processor, kind of pulse it. She said no. So this is gonna be a lot of chopping, a lot of prep. So we have our ingredients and we're just going to get them out and cut it up and then top it on our tostada. Okay, so let's clean the counters. Uh, hello, everyone. Always like to clean the counters before I start. That way when I drop stuff and I have kitchen snacks, y'all don't talk too much about me. I did drop something yesterday, but we won't, we won't revisit that, will we? Oh goodness. Okay. looks like my little overhead is struggling. If it doesn't come alive, we may have to reset something. Christina says, yay. I'm excited too. I'm excited too, my dear. All right. Hello everyone. 
All right, let's let that air dry and let's get the um, my hands clean. All right. Whew. I think I'm going to start with a beverage, y'all, just because I'm trying to remember um, when you're going to be talking. It's good to hydrate your vocal cords. Y'all know I work from home. I'm in Zoom meetings, so I don't do as much talking, and I don't want to have a, a coughing spell for you. So we're going to start that, and then we're going to get our ingredients out. Let me get my uniform. Oh, I have it here. Let me pull it down carefully so I don't knock over everything. We want to wear this one today? Why not? White makes me feel official. Yes, Christina says, get your bowl ready. Yes, ma'am. So I have a beautiful glass bowl so you all can see all of the ingredients. And because I don't want it to make too much mess on my, I mean, too much noise on my counter, I'm going to put it on a towel. So Christina says, this is basically just chop everything up and put it in a bowl. All right, so we have that. I'm excited, y'all. If y'all like this, Hello, Tracy. Thank you for being here. If y'all like this, we can make this a series where I can recreate your recipes. If you have a recipe that you want to talk me through or walk me through, I'll make it. I'll try anything once. <laughs> All right. Get myself together. Hi. Right. Hello. Okay. Yeah, we got our bowl ready. Yes, ma'am. Excited. I'm so excited, but I'm gonna get a beverage. All right, so Maggie merch is available should you need it. And uh, you can get your apron in multiple sizes and colors. You can customize it for free. They're about $20. Link is in the description. This is the long, so you can see. I am feeling better. Okay, slow down, Maggie, before I hurt myself, right? Okay, what does Christina say? I eat this by the spoon sometimes. It's so good. Oh, I can't wait. All right, hold up. Let's get a beverage. I only have one left in here. I need to place an order. So this is the Walmart water. Y'all know the fridge packs. Shout out to the Walmart water. I have one can in here. This is cherry limeade. This is my sugar-free um, sparkling water. So this is my little substitute. Hello, Padilla. Thank you so much for being here. Tara Leanne, so good to see you, my dear. She says, it's too hot right now, but I would love to do my chicken and dumplings with you. It's not healthy. That's okay. We can make it for the boys. Y'all know I'm your substitute teacher because I use sugar-free dairy-free and gluten-free substitutes. So for anyone who doesn't know, I used to be pre-diabetic, I used to have elevated cholesterol, and I used to have borderline blood pressure. All of that is normal now with no medication because I've completely changed the way that I eat and drink and snack. So this channel is dedicated to me finding recipes using the ingredients that I have to have, but making food that I want to have, all right? Plus, down about 80 pounds. I know, got a ways to go, at least 20 more. All right, so that is why I'm your substitute teacher. But if you all have a recipe that you want me to make and you're here to walk me through it, Leanne, we can make chicken and dumplings. Let's just coordinate when the boys are here because I'm a boy mom, two teenagers, y'all already know. And um, I cook for them regular stuff. Okay. All right, so let me get a glass and we're just gonna cut a slice of lime in here. You know what, do I wanna put this in some stemware? I'm feeling fancy. A little unsolicited etiquette tip. Because we're doing something special today, I'm going to drink my sparkling water out of stemware. 
ladies always drink out of a glass and not the can we're not at a baseball game we are not a dude so we don't want to toss it back we're going to take time to pour it into a glass and always hold stemware by the stem this is elegant <laughs> this is not elegant okay if you need to practice practice at home drinking water if you need to hold it up underneath the bowl so you have support but the further down you go this is the most elegant and a little tip you can put your pinky underneath there to give you support all right lots coming on my oh, more stuff coming i have taken and spent thousands on uh etiquette courses elegance courses for me uh privately it's just important that i maintain my softness i work in corporate i'm a boy mom y'all already know I'm just gonna cut a little bit of lime and put that in here. Let me get my cutting board. So I don't knock anything over. We have our beautiful Pampered Chef Acacia Wood cutting board. Okay, y'all can see. And since this is a limeade, I've got a little bit of fresh lime. We'll cut uh, some for the glass and some for our tostada. We have Raheem checking back. He says, hey Maggie, hello sir. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let me get my knife without knocking stuff over. Let's go ahead and sharpen it. Got a little Pampered Chef case that has a built-in sharpener. So we're going to be doing a lot of chopping. So let's see if we can get a little sliver. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit and put it in the glass. Just a simple way to make a simple beverage very festive. And ladies, remember, we want to take small, silent sips. I feel fancier already. Oh, Leanne says, maintain your softness. You love the way I put that. You understand, my dear. You are a boy mom. And yes, I have had to break up a fight. I am not built for that. So y'all already know. Ah, Christina says, cheers. Absolutely, cheers. I'll drink to that. Yes, everyone. Get a beverage, sit back, relax, and allow me to cook for you. Cooking with Sir Senior says, you loved all the pictures from the trip. Wonderful. I have so many more. So many more. I think I'm just going to have to make some more reels so you all can see. Let me know if you want to see more pictures from Greece. Um, or if you want me to do any more dining documentaries. For anyone who doesn't know, I just came back. That's why I'm still recovering. I ate so well. Um, I went to Greece for nine days. It was incredible. Um, every year I try and go somewhere and learn about the people and the culture. Next year is Egypt and 2025 is China. But if y'all like travel, because I am a... Um, Hmm. I'm a small town girl with big dreams and I always say, you know, what I would love to do is travel the world, uh, take you all with me on these dining documentaries and uh, blog my way through it. So, so much more to come. Uh, I will be in Charlotte, North Carolina at the end of July. So I've already reached out to my Carolina people to see where should I go eat, uh, any cuisine. If anybody's in the Charlotte area, let me know what you like to eat there. Christina says you would like to see more of South Africa. Okay, absolutely. I will do a um, trip review because I went to South Africa about three, four years ago. Incredible. Absolutely beautiful. All right, y'all. I think we're ready. I'm excited. So let me get Christina's message. She's here. I'm just going to read what she put in here, and then we'll get our ingredients out. Okay, she says she cuts up seven or eight Roma tomatoes. So I placed a grocery delivery order. So this just came from Kroger right before our stream. So we have our Roma tomatoes. And as you can see, and Christina, let us know if there's a particular reason you choose Roma. So Roma tomatoes are these. They're the ones that are kind of egg shaped, if you will. And I believe they are called Roma tomatoes because they're native to Rome. I was in Italy last year and they say Roma. So um, the tomatoes in Italy are incredible. That part of the world has a lot of volcano. And so the, at, is it the acid? 
the volcanic, the soil is different. So we have, let's go ahead and rinse everything as we get it out. So she says seven to eight Roma tomatoes. So let's see how many they got me. Okay, so we have seven or eight. And uh, Christina says they're a little juicier and sweeter than regular tomatoes. Good to know. Cooking with Sir Senior says you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, two hours from Raleigh. Let me know what I should eat there. Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna give these a little rinse. Hello, everyone coming in. All right, so we have our tomatoes ready to be diced up small. And then she says two fresh jalapenos, remove the seeds, okay. So I have our jalapenos. Christina says barbecue. That's what my other Carolina people said, eat barbecue. I will. Again, I'm not a huge barbecue fan. However, y'all know my rule about eating the local cuisine before you say, I don't like that. Because I didn't think I liked Greek food either or Mediterranean food and I got there and it was incredible, all right? So I will definitely have some Carolina barbecue. So Nate has a question, how much salsa does this make? Christina, can you answer? She says it can make a lot. We're about to see. <laughs> All right, so we have two jalapenos here, so I'm gonna rinse those off. Jalapenos are spicy, and you notice she says fresh jalapenos, so fresh is always best if you can get it, as opposed to jalapenos in the jar. I will use this for sandwiches and whatnot, but for this salsa, I wanted to get all fresh ingredients. Hello, Valet. Thank you so much for being here, my dear. Christina says, and this salsa is better the next day as it soaks in the lemon juice. I'm already excited. We could put salsa on eggs. We could put it on everything. Put that on everything. All right. So I'm just going to rinse these off. The heat is in the seeds, so if you want it hot, keep the seeds in. Thank goodness she said take the seeds out, but I'm just going to rinse it for now. All right. Then she says one small yellow onion. All right. Hello, everyone. Whew. So we have a yellow onion. To me, this is kind of medium size. But um, Christina, let me know what you think. I think this is kind of medium. It's pretty big to me. I think I might have a cut up yellow onion in the fridge that we may be able to get half of. I guess it doesn't really uh, matter, but I have a yellow onion that we can kind of get into. So we will be dicing that up as well. We don't need to rinse that since it's got the protective skin or you can rinse it. I am not the food police. Please do what works for y'all. Christina says half, okay. Nate says you never had it on eggs. Yeah, so think of a Western omelet. If you guys like omelets, when you get those omelets that have like ham and peppers and onions and all that. You can put fresh salsa on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, eight Roma tomatoes, two jalapenos. Oh, y'all can't see. Let me switch this so y'all can see. And can y'all see? I'm trying to get everybody to see. Um, cilantro, she says half, and I'm assuming you mean half of a bunch. I love 
cilantro. We had some yesterday. This is a pretty big bunch. I'm very excited. Um, but since she says half, we'll go through the one that we had yesterday. I'll just keep this out for, for the beauty of it. So we have some fresh cilantro. I love cilantro. If you don't, I understand. So we have that one. I can do half of that or I dropped a piece. I have this one from yesterday. It's not as fresh. So let me know what you think. Um, and we'll rinse that. Let me know what portion. I don't know if you can see. This is the one that came in today. And this is the one from yesterday. I'm sure once I chop into it, it'll be fine. So let me know which one you want me to use. And we'll get into that. Garlic salt. Okay, so she uses garlic salt. I did get that. So we have garlic salt here. And... and pepper. So I'm assuming fresh cracked black pepper will do. So we have some pepper ready. And then lemon juice. Now oh, they gave me a big one. Half. Hello, Sheila. Oh, 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 Sheila. All right, they gave me a big old lemon, y'all. This is big as my hand. All right, so we have a lemon here. And um, we will juice some of that. That's it. All right, so we have all of our ingredients out. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to start chopping it up in the way that you gave me the uh, instructions. So you see my tomatoes here? They're pretty big. <laughs> they match my dress. My earrings is dripping on me. All right, so let's go ahead and cut that up. All right. Let's see. All right, y'all. So I'm going to be doing a lot of chopping up today. We could do q and A. I've already dropped the link if you want to chat. But I'm just going to cut everything and put it in a bowl. So let me move it so y'all can see. And then we will toss this around and let it come together. Okay, Christina says, be careful with the jalapenos. Don't touch your eyes and wash your hands. I have made that mistake. It was not pleasant. All right. She says, use as much cilantro as you want. Don't tell me that. All right. I'm going to take my time, y'all. Since this is... Um, a fresh salsa. Uh, I'm thinking like a pico de gallo kind of consistency. So what I'm doing with the Roma tomatoes, cut them in half, put the flat, flat side down for stability. Okay, Christina says, Maggie, be careful when you cut the jalapenos. You don't want to touch your eyes. Make sure you wash your hands with soap. Let's do the jalapenos last, if that's okay. We will leave them sealed up. All right. All right, so I'm gonna show you the size dice that I have here. Let me know if this is good or if I need to go smaller, and I will. So one down. She says, that's perfect. Okay, wonderful. Hello, Tasha with the beautiful babies. Thank you so much for being here. Oops, a little slurp. Sabrina says, Les, yes, you love pico? Okay. 
So let's get our little scraper. One down. Let's move my beverage so I don't knock it over. Six or seven to go. So we got time, y'all. What's everybody eating tonight? Are you cooking or is somebody cooking for you? Or if you have questions for me, we can do a little bit of story time. Hello, everyone coming in. Hmm. Or we could just have a silent cooking class. Watch these beautiful colors come together. This is how mom had me start cooking with the prep. This is the part that nobody likes to do, but it's so important. And remember on our cutting board, the side that has the grooves here, get into the groove, is the side that collects the liquid, as you can see, that's coming out of these tomatoes. I can't wait to try this tomorrow. I think we'll do a dessert tomorrow. I have something in mind. If you saw my Instagram stories, you'll know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Tasha loves salsa. Okay, good. You had stuffed peppers? That sounds yummy. Excuse me. What did you stuff them with? Did you do like a taco stuffing or did you do like a pizza stuffing or cheesesteak stuffing stuffed peppers we haven't done those in a while leanne gave me a great recipe for breakfast stuffed peppers speaking of your egg and cheese you could put some salsa on those up your peppers with ground beef, rice, and tomato sauce. That's really savory and sounds filling. That's a great meal for those of you all who don't know. You can do stuffed peppers, use peppers as a vehicle for so many different meals. All right, we've done three. Sabrina says you made roasted wings with skillet gnocchi, sauteed in butter, garlic, and onions with a side of savory green peas. Look at Sabrina chefing it up. Oh my goodness. That sounds incredible. <sighs> Nate made chicken and bok choy tonight for dinner. That sounds good. Lean protein and veggies. That's what I try to eat. Y'all already know the struggle, but we're in it together for life, whether we want to be or not. Some people have it harder than others, but it's okay. We can all get better. I was like, how many was that? We're halfway there. Christina says you can always add strawberries and or mango to the salsa and make it sweet and spicy. That's a great idea. I'm going to do your original recipe. 
Shout out to KFC. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to do your original recipe, but that's a great variation. Uh, summertime, those of you all who want a little sweet heat, strawberry salsa. I've never had that. I've had mango salsa, but strawberry, that sounds incredible. So I will uh, stop when I get to seven. Uh, Christina, you can take a look at what I got and let me know if we need to do number eight, since you said seven or eight. So whether you're cutting lemon, tomatoes, anything that kind of leaks out like this, the groove side of the cutting board keeps it from running onto your counter. Two more. You think seven is enough? Okay, so we got two more. Hello, peace. Hello, everyone coming in. So I'll show you all what I have. I have a pretty big like serving bowl and it's, um, this is great. This is making, um, you know, depending on how much you eat, enough salsa to last, you know, great. If you're doing a family style meal, how long will this salsa uh, keep, Christina? This is how we do it. I know, right? All right, last one. Oh, sorry, y'all. So this is what we have so far. Six Roma tomatoes. We're going with seven. All right, last one. I ordered eight. You never know how big they're going to be, but this is uh, giving us what we need. Okay. Clearly, I'm not a professional. I don't have superb knife skills, but we got it done. All right. So I'm going to save the jalapenos for last for reasons y'all already know. Let me just rinse off the cutting board and drain a little bit of the tomato juice. Christina says you store it in a covered bowl at least three to four days. Yeah, so I got a glass dish that has a top on it. All right, hello everyone coming in. Thank you all so much for being here. Okay. So we're gonna do uh, the onion. She said one small yellow onion and since I have a large onion, we're going to do the half. I like onion, but you know, with all things you can adjust. Uh, so she says half is fine. So I'm going to get a little container of water. 
Something about the fumes and onion I heard. Look for the closest water source when you cut into them, hence the reason why it pulls tears from your eyes. So the hack that works for me is if I get a small little container of water next to where I'm cutting, the fumes will go into the water and not my eyes, okay? Ah, yeah, you thought it was gonna be a lot? Yeah, just right. So this is what we have, so you all can see our seven Roma tomatoes. All right, so let's get some water. Just a little condiment dish, not much. Gonna put a little water from the sink. And just kind of put that close to where you're cutting. It's a hack that I saw somewhere and it works for me. Hello, Mrs. Ray, my first time seeing you here. Thank you so much for being here. Or maybe you've been here before. Welcome back, sweetheart. Okay, Christina says, I cut the onion a little smaller than I do the tomato. Thank you for telling me that. All right, so we need a fine dice on the, on the onion. And that makes sense because you don't want to bite into the salsa or the pico or whatever and get that um, big old chunks of onion. All right, so since this one has been used, I'm going to kind of cut the... Um, cross section so we get that fresh exposed side. Nothing wrong with it, but just looks a little bit neater and fresher. Plus that moisture is in there. We want all that juiciness. Let me peel off this top layer and we're gonna get in here and she says dice this small. So let me take out the root and all that other stuff. Hello everyone coming in. Thank you all so much for being here. Welcome to your struggle cooking class. All right, so let's get, I know there's so many different schools of thought on how to cut this thing. I am not the food police. Y'all do it the way that works for you. All right, so let's take off the top layer just to make sure we have nice fresh onion skin. I actually like onion. I prefer it sauteed. All right. So let's see if we can get this kind of cut up small little pieces. All right, so let me know, Christina, if that looks pretty good for the onion. She says, exactly. I hope that's good. <laughs> Kia G, hello, Maggie in class. Hello, my dear. She says, happy Wednesday. I love homemade salsa. Yes, I'm excited to make this as well. Christina says, thank you, sweetie, for making and sharing this. Learned, oh, you learned how to make this when you lived in New Mexico. That is fantastic. I love it. The most, The more authentic, the better. I have never been to New Mexico. I've been to Arizona, but uh, I haven't really been to the Southwest, but I love this type of cuisine. Of course, been to Mexico multiple times. Alright. That's what we do. Food brings us together. We share and we learn. I don't know everything, clearly. Y'all see me mess up all the time. She says, yes, it's been a while. Thank you. Ooh, Nate likes her onion sauteed and a little crunchy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. She says, perfect on the onion. Thank you. I appreciate that. So y'all can see the onions have like a natural little, I don't know if you can see the grooves in there. So I'm just kind of cutting the cross section and then they fall apart on their own. Kind of like onion rings separate on their own. So the recipe she gave me says one small yellow onion. I'm doing a half of a bigger one. And we're doing small dice, taking my time. Making my way downtown. <sighs> All right, 
right, just looking for these big slivers. Separating them up, we're almost done. Sometimes for me, like a repetitive process is kind of therapeutic. I just kind of zone out, take the mind off the day, off of everything. All right, let's see. How do we do? I think we're good. Okay, so let's scrape up. Uh oh, my water's knocked over, but it worked. I'm not uh, crying. So let's get our onions up out of the groove and get these scraped up into the bowl. Alright, so you all can see what we have here. I'm saving the jalapenos for last. Saving the best for last. Because y'all know I get distracted, I get excited, then I mess up stuff. I made jalapenos one time and I forgot and scrap. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Christina says that's good. Okay, my dear. All right, so we've got our onion. I know she wants me to do some lemon juice. Let's go in for the cilantro first. So let's get rid of our water. All right. So far we have our seven tomato and half a yellow onion. This is what we have so far. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 da -dun, da -dun. chop your salsa, da -dun, da -dun. chop your salsa. If y'all don't know, I am very intentional about um, our channel and look, I like to have fun too, but the algorithm is always listening and uh, because our channel is happy, wholesome, and family friendly, I don't think I don't want them to think we got any foolishness going on here. So you will see me say some things and not say some things. Christina says, "I like to use a lot of cilantro, but it's up to you. We are going to use the whole thing." I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling froggy. Um, I love cilantro and this is big and fresh. So question, do you use the leaves and the stems? Usually I just use the leaves. So you all, I have this one from yesterday, which is smaller, but I ordered a fresh one for today. And she says we can use this. I might need a bigger bowl. I want to chop it up. Oh, Nate, you're so, you're fine. In the chat, y'all can type whatever you want, but it's listening. That's what I'm talking about. You're totally fine. Totally fine. So, Christina, do we need to use the stems and the leaves? I'll go ahead and rinse this. Hello, everyone coming in. You all are totally fine. In the chat is where it's safe. Help, help yourself and cut up. Let's rinse this off. Yeah, some of those, some of y'all that are YouTubers understand some of those of y'all who want to be YouTubers, there are certain, you know, topics and whatnot, even what we went through in 2020. You know, a lot of people don't like to say that because it just kind of flags your video. It's just, it's a lot, y'all, but it is not the end of the world. There was something else in my cilantro. That doesn't look like cilantro. It looks like something else. Ah, she says, just the leaves. Perfect. You can use the stems, y'all, especially if you're going in a food processor. I prefer just the leaves. So let's take this off. I'm going to give it another rinse, y'all, because just look at, you know, the little twist tie. We want to get all of that off. And then we'll do a big twist on the leaves. Let me do one more rinse. Make sure our greens are squeaky clean. You got it. You got it. All right, so let's see if we can get some of this moisture off. Actually, the moisture is probably good for a pico, right? We want all of that. We want it swimming around and all that juiciness. All right, so I'm just gonna, whew, 
cilantro already. All right, before it comes apart, I'm going to try and get the stems kind of together. It's like one big net, right? And I'll try and do like one big chop. It's not going to be perfect, but all right. I'll just put these kind of off to the side. Still have a few stems in there then. Excuse me. So for cilantro or any herbs like this, I got a big old ball. I just try and pinch it small and then just chop back and then we'll run the knife through it. All right. It already smells great. Hopefully it'll smell even greater. Once you, you know, cut into fresh herbs, it just releases the oils and all that flavor. Plus, I think it's just a beautiful color. Christina says, this salsa is like pico, but it's juicier. Oh, all right, I'm here for it. Hmm. All right, so we did our first pass. Let's go through it again. You know, if you have, y'all know I got that big old spice rack. If you have dried herbs, that's fine. They'll last a long time. But fresh is best if you can get it. And cilantro is really inexpensive if you like it. At least, you know, for me, that whole bunch was like $1 to $2. And I don't like to waste. Y'all know groceries are expensive, but just rocking the knife through it, making sure we get all these beautiful pieces cut up. I think we're good. Whew. I got in there. All right. So let's get all of this. I'm being greedy, but we're getting all of that. All right. So we have shout out to the Italian flag. Christina's loving this. I'm loving it too. All right. Red, white, and green. We'll keep a little bit on the cutting board as a garnish. Cilantro is a great garnish, so is parsley. So I'm not going to rinse this. I'll just kind of move it to the side. And then I'll rinse off the, um, actually, hold up. Here's a little presentation hack, y'all. Whenever I'm using fresh herbs or any ingredient like this, save a little bit so when you make your... Um, your dish and your, your final presentation, you have a little pinch just to put on the top as a garnish. All right, now I will rinse this. We've got jalapenos and then lemon. Thank you, uh, Sir Senior, I appreciate that. Um, I feel like I need to get a bigger bowl because I really need to get in there and stir. So I think we're gonna transfer it. All right, but let me just clean up. Oh, Carl Jason says chopping it up. Oh my goodness, thank you for the $5 on top of the $2. So you are stream spots are at $7. Let me clean my hands. delaying the jalapenos like a kid who's supposed to get a whooping. <laughs> ah, I don't want to do it. No, I'll do it. Okay. Um, let me know, uh, Christina, I think we're ready to do jalapenos. I don't know. I know we're doing lemon, salt, and pepper probably at the end, right? Let me update clout chasing. Perfect. We'll get you in for seven dollars. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. Marie Marie says, hey, Maggie Scholars. Oh boy, Marie Marie has a question. She says, I haven't dated in nine years. What have you been doing? Um, how do I redevelop interpersonal skills? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get my mind right. We're chopping it up. Well, I do have a relationship uh, class. She says jalapenos and then the lemon. Okay. So I do have a relationship channel. It's called the Wives Club. We're there every Friday. Um, I have a lot of questions, but since you put that on here, I will, I will uh, ask. I, I wonder what you've been doing for nine years, why relationship was not a priority. Um, because it's good. It's not impossible, but I assume these are the questions that a gentleman would ask. So if you've just been working and, um, so I just cut off the top y'all and I'm going to go down the center. You can put gloves on if you're really nervous about this. I'm going to actually get a spoon and scrape that out. So, you know, all relationships start with just, you know, connecting with people. So, you know, the short answer is finding ways to be social, you know, that are comfortable for you, things that you like to do, whether it's a group setting or different outings. Um, but I would ask, okay, so you haven't been dating in nine years. Why now? So I just use a spoon so I'm not touching it. Um, and what are you looking to get out of it? You know, depending on where you are in life, age, you know, um, are you looking for marriage? Are you looking for children? You know, because for me, ultimately, and you know, this is for Marie Marie specifically, since she asked and anybody else generally, I believe since you asked me, dating is for a purpose. I don't believe in just casual for me. I'm a relationship girl. Um, I was married at 25 to my college boyfriend, married for 10 years. And, um, you know, like I've always said, I got caught up in modern woman and um, amicably, amicably divorced. You know, I don't regret it. Two boys from the marriage. But since then, I've been in a long-term relationship um, like 12 years. So you can see here, just going to scrape that out. So, you know, I, I don't really see relationships have always been a priority to me, even with, you know, career success and, and all that good stuff. So, you know, my point is that I would, I would ask yourself, cause you're going to be asked, what are you looking, you know, for? And there is no right answer, right? You could be just looking for companionship as you age. You're not really trying to be you know, a wife per se, um, you know, if that, that's a different approach, then you find someone with, you know, the same goal as you and, um, find what you have in common and just get to know what you like about each other and compromise on what you don't, as long as there aren't any deal breakers. You know, if you're looking for marriage and family, might be a stretch, you know, I'm 47. Y'all know I'm way past the wall. Um, so I'm looking forward to my golden years and um, I still have a lot of love to give. And so my relationship goals are about finding someone uh, to grow old with and be a support system, um, you know, for a man with a plan. Um, so long-winded version. I'm just using the napkin to get these seeds up. I don't know if you can see this. Okay. And then I'm going to, we're going to chop this and I'm being very intentional not to touch anything. Um, but yeah, you know, interpersonal skills. And I would offer anybody, like even if you're not actively dating right now or looking to get married, you know, relationships are just so important. It's good to be able to have a conversation it's good to be able to share likes and, you know, different interests. Um, it's good to be able to have somebody to go through life with. So, 
Uh-oh. I would just offer y'all, don't don't put it, you know, don't put it all the way off. Um, but yeah, I would start, um, how do I gain, how do I redevelop interpersonal skills? Short answer, you got to be around people. So find people that you like enough to do things with in a group setting. It could be, you know, social clubs or, you know, different events that you're in. And I think relationships kind of naturally happen when you put like-minded people together. Oh, Marie Marie's been working. I know, working, working, working day and night. All right, Christina, I don't see this, but thank you. Oh, Marie Marie says, why now? You were asked out and you didn't accept because you're socially awkward. Oh, that's sweet. I feel like I'm, well, no, not socially awkward. I feel like I'm silly, you know, but I understand. But I'll say this and I mean this in the, in the best way. My attorney, my divorce attorney said, for every crooked pot, there's a crooked lid, which means I really do believe there's somebody for everybody. Okay, we already rinsed these, right? All right, so um, while I got my hands all in them, Christina, for the jalapenos, let me know how to cut these. Are we just dicing them up like everything else or do I need to do anything different? I have washed them and I have de-seeded them. So I just need to know how to cut them for the salsa. Okay, Marie Marie says, I'm not looking to remarry. I'm prepared to remain single, but I don't want to isolate myself as extremely as I have. Yes. So I would ask you, you know, what are your, um, what things are you interested in? Like I'll take myself, for example, y'all know I love the arts. So I go to the symphony, I go to the ballet, I love cooking. So if I were trying to meet like-minded people, I would probably sign up for a cooking class to learn something new. Um, maybe take a tour of, um, you know, one of the museums or something in the area. The reason why is because you want it to be easy and natural to strike up a conversation. Like Maggie, you will not find me at a sci-fi convention. I love all my nerds. I am a nerd, but I don't understand the whole superhero thing. Y'all already know I'm a boy mom. That would be awkward for me. So you want to put yourself in a in an environment where you feel comfortable, um, and then you can start having conversations and just um, and see you know who you connect with. Uh, for me, no, I didn't charge this again. For me, it's. Um, you know, I would probably work with my network. Like if I were ready, which I think I am, I try to stay ready. Hold on y'all, I didn't plug this up, I'm sorry. Um, I probably say, you know, I am looking for this type of relationship second time around. If you know anyone, uh, please make a connection. All right, Christina says, I'm engaged. I was married at 23 to my first, but it didn't last. I understand. Now I'm engaged and been with him for nine years now. Yeah, 12 years for me. Um, so I understand. I love love though. So that's me. That's what you're going to get over here. Marie Marie, let me know if that helps, sweetheart. I am happy to help. Stay tuned, ladies. I am working on, y'all know I have a cooking channel, an etiquette channel, a Patreon, and a relationship channel. And a femininity course is coming. So stay tuned. Okay, she says yes, diced. Okay, so let's dice these jalapenos so we can get these devil peppers in this bowl. So um, I hope that helps. If y'all have any other questions, you know, anything that you think, I haven't done a Q&A in a while, anything that you think I might be able to help you with, feel free to ask. I will do my best. We can always learn. As I'm cutting these, I'm feeling the juice on my forehead, like as I cut into these, I'm like, Rrr. but I got my safety glasses on. They're prescription, but I'm gonna call them safety. Let's see if we can make these a little smaller. But congratulations on being asked out. That's nice. I mean, look, I'm old, okay? So I come from a time when you got a steady boyfriend, you know, it's not like you have 
Um, a lot of people that you're talking to at once, I don't understand that, never have, never will. Um, so I think that's nice. Plus, you know, being a boy mind, y'all know I think about men often and just, you know, you never know how long he was uh, your secret admirer before he got the courage to, you know, ask you out. So you never know. But, you know, I don't know how old everybody is, but believe me, as your fairy godmother, I can feel it, y'all. <laughs> um, we're all going to age. Let me know, Christina. I think I should go a little bit smaller. This is a little bit smaller. Christina got the peppers in her eyes before and it wasn't good. Exactly. The pepper juice. Mrs. Ray says, surprisingly, people now talk to me in grocery stores all the time. I don't think I was as approachable before. You avoided eye contact. Yes, be approachable. Yes, y'all, let's give each other tips. Absolutely. Eye contact and smiling goes a long way. And here's the deal, y'all. I learned these in my like etiquette and elegance classes. A big part of it is primal, meaning men and women have reactions to each other and you don't even know that you're doing it consciously and it comes from a time when we all lived in like tribes and you had to be able to tell that quickly if someone who was coming across the horizon or whatever was friend or foe so humans have evolved if you will to be able to scan somebody quickly and see their face and see their posture and see, is this person coming to harm me or to help me? So young ladies, especially, that mean mugging is very masculine. And, ah, Cloud Chasing coming in with the $10. Oh my gosh, thank you. So now you're up to 17. This one is easy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So gracious. I receive it. Thank you. Um, but I was just saying, you know, I know there's this thing now where everybody wants to have the straight face and just kind of like slay and boss this and boss that. That is not me. Please do what works for you. However, if you're not getting the results that you want, there may be reasons why. And if you like this stuff, wait for my course. It's coming soon. Um, but oftentimes, you know, especially men who are always surveying the environment are scanning and looking for who is friend and who is foe. So if you're that woman, who wants that as opposed to, and you don't have to do the big toothy smile like I do. One of the things that I do, because I do have this big, big old smile, but you'll see me smile even if it's just you can practice that for free at home in the mirror. Look at yourself. YouTube channel has been a great way to see how I show up, how I speak, how I do a lot of things, and then make adjustments. That's what I learned in class. That was some of our homework. Record yourself. Do you shout when you speak? Is your natural face pleasant or do you have to work on being approachable? But yes, that's really, really key. So, you know, sometimes people are just like, oh, I've heard girlfriends say, I'm such a nice person if they would just get to know me. But then on the other side of that, you're like, I hate to smile. Okay. Hello, everyone coming in. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for being here. Belay says I'm not old. I know Belay been telling me. I'm looking forward to 50, y'all. I got two more years with Marcus and three more years with Alex. Hello. Um, Christina says, yes, smaller. Absolutely. DJ Hawk says, what is a sleeper etiquette? I'm not sure if I understand the question. Are you talking about like bedroom etiquette when sleeping? Y'all know. Okay. Valet says, I'm not old. I'm an older woman. So y'all got to explain this stuff to me. You know, I don't know. Because when I see that, I think literally, what is etiquette when sleeping? Do you mean like when sharing a bed with someone? I'll do my best to answer. 
Oh, a sleeper race car. I told y'all, I don't know. Clearly, I am happy to answer questions about what I know about, but if I don't know, I will tell y'all, because clearly I don't know. So same thing with the onion. We're really getting into this jalapeno and getting small pieces. Same thing. You want a little bit of heat, but we've taken out the seeds, but you don't want to bite down into a big old piece of it. Marie Marie says, I don't want to date a coworker. 100%. Ladies, newsflash. We are in charge of who we say yes to. So... If someone is interested in you at work and you're not interested, be gracious, thank them, but say no thank you. And you don't have to give a reason. You are not obligated to. But if you want to say, oh, I don't date people that I work with, but thank you so much. I'm flattered. Leave it at that. Men ask. We agree or don't, so that's it. So, but I will say this, <laughs> I met my ex-husband at work. Um, we spend a lot of time at work. So all I will say is this, if you don't wanna date someone that you work with, with work with, <coughs> which is smart, you are gonna have to do the work to, um, put yourself out there more because a lot of us work, especially if you work full time, you're going to have to be more intentional about um, putting yourself in environments where you can meet like-minded people. Okay. So nothing wrong with that. You know, keep work, work, you know, it's so much easier because then if the relationship goes good or bad, somebody got to leave. It's a whole thing. Uh, Wilbert says, sleep etiquette is having two sets of covers so your wife will stop stealing yours and leaving you cold at night. <laughs> Christina, let me know if this is good. Hopefully I did better. Uh, I know, shout out to Wilbert. But yes, thank you so much for the question. I appreciate that. Whenever I'm doing, y'all don't have to wait for a QA. and a um, Whenever I'm doing any of these repetitive tasks, and I like to move slow because moving fast is when I mess stuff up. All right, Christina says, exactly. So let's get our, excuse me, our jalapeno in here, going in the salsa. Can you all even see? All right. One of these days, y'all will be able to see everything. All right, y'all. Now, I am going to rinse the cutting board and wash my hands very well with soap before we continue. I got jalapeno all on me. Oh, you're welcome, Marie Marie. We are family here. I really believe y'all, I'm not going nowhere. So if you have questions and you think an older woman can help, happy to answer. And if I don't know, someone in our community does. <clears throat> if I don't know, I will tell you. I don't know. I won't make it up. <clears throat> Y'all, jalapeno juice in the air, air. Oof. All right, y'all. So we have tomatoes on the bottom, fresh cilantro, fresh onion, fresh jalapeno. Whew. Now all we have left, y'all need a, another etiquette tip, ladies. If you get lipstick on the glass, continue to drink from the same spot. Do not expose others to your makeup. Okay. Jalapenos are making me cough. Yes, but 
We're doing good. Let me see. I think I have a larger bowl. Yeah. Because I think I'm going to be stirring and tossing. I can move it back in there to store, but I wanted to get a bigger bowl. All right. So now it's lemon. Hello, Mona. Thank you for much. Oh, garlic salt. Okay. She says garlic salt. Should I go ahead and put it in the big bowl now and then season it in there? Am I going to toss it by hand? Am I going to get a wooden spoon? What am I going to do? Because I'm... Um, Wilbur says, Maggie and these jalapeno streams, they always get me. I know. <sighs> Y'all think I'd learn, but here I am. Today's Marie Marie. Your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, Marie Marie, here I am giving you the business on your birthday. You asked, but I will drink to that. I need to send you some happy mail. Let me know a shipping address and I will send you a little gift. Garlic salt. Yeah, put it in the bowl. I'm going to store it in. Okay. So we got this big old bowl. Hopefully I can... Garlic salt. So we got garlic salt. Yes, happy birthday, Marie Marie. Yes, happy birthday, everybody on Instagram saying happy birthday. Y'all can come on over. Um, so I'm just going to let me know. Well, we're on delay, so that's not going to work. It's like a 15 seconds between when I ask y'all something. And um, let me stop there. Do I need more or is that good? Lauren is in the house, our community travel agent. She says, hello, Maggie in class. Vote Maggie into the top 15. Thank you, y'all. This is crooked. Oh, thank y'all. The next cut is tomorrow. Y'all have me in first place at Favorite Chef. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can scan that QR code. I am in a popularity contest for Favorite Chef. You can vote for me for free. I have not been asking because you all have got me in first place. I've made the first round in the top 20. Tomorrow, they cut into the top 15. The winner gets $25,000, a magazine spread, and lots of publicity. And uh, I would use the prize money to build like a studio kitchen, maybe in the back somewhere, um, so we can have a place that's not, you know, <laughs> with the family. But thank you so much for being here, Lauren. What does Mrs. Ray say? I may be hosting hu husband siblings since 4th of July. Anyone have a filling main dish that looks like a good effort, even though I'm short on time? Salsa is looking so good so far. Thank you. So uh, I'm curious how many people, a good filling main dish? I would say a casserole. Well, I mean, you'd have to bake it, but Casseroles are great when you need to feed a lot of people and you just kind of layer it together. It could be a lasagna. Um, it could be, I don't know. Let me know if that's too warm uh, for you. Hello, everyone coming in. All right, Marie Marie is dancing. Happy birthday. Christina says, okay, I just do a few sprinkles of the garlic salt and pepper. Okay, so we did a few sprinkles and let's go in with the pepper. All right, so we have garlic salt and fresh cracked pepper. Then taste it later to see if it needs more. All right, excuse me. So you can see I put some pepper on our onion. So this is what we have so far, everyone. Okay, lemon, right? We're gonna squeeze this, right? I'm gonna take the stick sticker off and rinse it. And then I think we're going to cut it in half and juice it. And I think we toss it together, right? All right. Let me give this a wash. It's huge. 
Ooh, Christina says a rice casserole. Yeah, I was thinking a casserole. Um, Fourth of July, I don't know if y'all are gonna be inside or outside, but you know, like any kind of layer dish, seven layer dip with nachos, a lasagna, a veggie lasagna, um, chicken and rice, um, anything that you can kind of just dump in layers and um, put it in the oven and take it out. Comes out cheesy and bubbly, looks like a hit. Sabrina says, this is going to be so good. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Brandon. Thank you so much for being here. She says, add a little bit more garlic and pepper. Okay, so let's get more garlic salt. I'm going to put the garlic salt on the green so you'll be able to see it. All right, so I've dusted that. And then I'll put the pepper on the onion so you can see that. We got a lot going on here. I love cooking with y'all. All right. Mrs. Ray says, sadly, I've never made a casserole of any kind. More stove dishes or pressure cooker. About six people inside. Pressure cooker? I don't want to use a pressure cooker, but um, what about a slow cooker? Um, you could do any type of pulled meat, pulled chicken. Um, you could have that like tacos, um, put it on top of a salad. Uh, I know y'all have some ideas. Hello, Double Grace. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, so Christina says, yes. Do you have for now, we'll use the other half, make sure you don't get the seeds in it. Do I have what now? Oh, half the lemon for now without the seeds and then stir it up and I'll look at the bottom and decide if you need more juice. Ah, Christina's in here. All right, so we washed our lemon. Let's cut it in half. All right, this is a big one, y'all. <laughs> All right, ooh, smells so lemony. All right, so we're gonna put this in the lemon juicer if we can. And my little lemon juicer or citrus juicer has holes in the bottom so the juice comes out, but it keeps the seeds out. Will this even fit, y'all? Oh, shucks. It might be too big. They gave me the biggest lemon. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, dear. Um, let's see if I can squeeze a little bit by hand. I don't have hand strength. Oh, my gosh. I should have rolled it, right? Squeeze it down a little bit, see if I can get it in here. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Oh God. I'm coming, y'all. Memory foam, Maggie, I told you, I'm soft, okay? I don't have muscles. Hello, Brown, thank you for being here. It's a, It has a slow cooker setting. Ooh, pulled me at, set, okay, set it and forget it. So if you like chicken, I made a really good shredded chicken. I'll show you the video. It's literally two ingredients, chicken breast and salsa. I'll show you. I might need this whole daggum lemon. I'm squeezing it. But this lemon is so big. It might be. Oh, I'm tired. That's a lot. All right. While I'm thinking about it. This is a great... Um, recipe for anyone. If you, I'll show it to you. If you like it, I'll put it in the chat, set it and forget it. This is from uh, keto snacks. And I think I either did it overnight or, and then you have the meat and it could stay warm in the slow cooker and you could do whatever you like with it. But literally 
Now, of course, I'm not going to see it in here. It was literally <clears throat> chicken breast and a jar of salsa. All right, I'll have to find it. Put it in at eight hours low. And um, yeah, all this stuff comes up in my feed and I'm like, ooh, I'm making that. Ooh, I'm making that. All right, y'all, let's get back to the salsa. See how I get distracted. I'm like a dog with a bone. I'm like, I know it's in here. Okay, we'll come to a stopping point and I'll find it. Okay, so now she says, stir it up, please. Yes, ma'am. Okay, focus, Maggie. Let's see, I know I have, but I'm gonna use the knife and fork. I mean, what is this? The wooden spoon and fork. Ooh, it smells yummy. Because I just feel like it's going <clears> to... <throat> it's going to like flop over if I... I'm just kind of doing a gentle fold from the top and go down. Let me see if I can go around and do that. It's beautiful. I don't know, y'all. I'm lame like that, but food could be art to me. It's beautiful colors. I got a big old pocket of cilantro in here. I'm trying to break it up. Uh, Christina does pulled pork barbecue in the slow cooker. Absolutely. Find the meat of your choice and then find the um, sauce of your choice. So it could be chicken and salsa, just the jar salsa, nothing silly. I mean, nothing special. It can be the, um, you know, pork butt and barbecue sauce. Literally just layered in there. I'm going to try and get this up from the bottom. All right, I think it's looking really good. Okay, do a little bit more on, on lemon juice. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. All right, y'all. Let me see what I, I think I have a lemon, a citrus juicer because that thing is too big. Okay, I've never used this before. All these gadgets I have. So let me show y'all what I have for now. It's looking good, but Christina says some more lemon juice. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Knowing. Hello, Rebecca. Okay. Let's see if I can juice this. Uh-oh. Oh, I found it. This is going to drive me nuts. All right. He made it in a bowl. I'm coming, y'all. The lemon thing is hard. All right. So notice how he just did the chicken and the salsa on low and then just pull it apart with the fork. And then he made it in a bowl with, you could do like a, um, like a bar, like, you know how you do like a, ta a taco bar, but literally just two chicken breasts and a whole jar of salsa, put it on low for eight hours, shred it with a fork. Then you could have, if you wanted to, all of the toppings. He has shredded cheese. <clears throat> that would make it nice and festive for 4th of July. Shredded cheese, um, avocado. Wait, am I supposed to use this thing? Y'all, this is a lot. Oh, where are these kids? Looking amazing, aw. Who do we have here, Quiet Storm? 
Okay, Quiet Storm, where are you? Remember when I was in San Diego and I couldn't open the wine? I can't juice the lemon. All right, let's see if we can get it in my juicer. So I kind of shredded it. I got this much lemon juice. I'm gonna pour. All right, and we'll go to the other one. It's so big, it's not fitting in my juicer, but I'm trying y'all. Maggie will not be defeated. I will always try for my scholars. Oh, hello, thank you all so much for being here. Whew. So um, salsa looks great, thank you. Oh. Geneva says, could I cut the lemon some more? I should have done that, right? Maybe quarter it? Okay, thank you. Mrs. Ray, let us know if you like that, um, what's it called? <laughs> Marie Marie says, Maggie, I need truck driving hands. Maggie has um, mama hands. I can reach for one of these. I can't juice a lemon. Oh. Told y'all, memory foam Maggie. I, I'm as soft as they come. I am just a... Oh. Okay, Christina says that's enough. All right, y'all. And I wouldn't toss this. I've shared with you all before, even though we juice these all to heck. If you're making a pitcher of tea, Mrs. Ray, for your 4th of July, um, go ahead and, you know, put this in the pitcher, hot tea, iced tea, whatever, and just let it steep in there. Y'all, that was a lot. And I've got this much more juice. All right, let's stir it up. Some more. Okay, that's enough. I'm doing great. Thank you, dear. All right. Ooh, ooh, I see some juices in the bottom. This is reminding me of Greece uh, with that Greek salad. All right, y'all. We got our salsa nice and juicy. Let me toss it all in there. I think I'm doing good. Look, mom, look. Oh, yeah. And you can tell like the tomato and the onion and everything is starting to break down on itself. And it'll give us that nice... Um, flavor. Oh, I'm getting excited. That's enough juice. Yeah. All right. Cilantro everywhere. I'm just going to try and it looks perfect. Oh, thank you. All right. So let me do a little bit of food styling. Y'all know we all eat with our eyes first. So I'm just going around the rim with a little paper towel to get up any garlic salt, um, any cilantro, anything like that. And I'm going to try and fluff it up a little bit for the picture. And then Christina wanted me to make a tostada. I'm gonna taste it first. We'll take a picture. And then I want to make a tostada just with yesterday's leftover ingredients, nothing fancy, and then put this on top and I will let y'all have your evening. It's good on tacos and the gluten-free tortilla chips. All right, y'all. All right, so Instagram, here's our salsa. TikTok, here's our salsa. Ah, oh, yeah. Nate is loving it. Perfecto. I know. Let's taste it, y'all. Woo. Let me get a little bit of everything, a little, a little cilantro, a little onion, tomato. Let me sop up some of that lemon juice down here in the corner. A little onion. Oh. <laughs> Why is it out of focus? Y'all know what it's supposed to be. I don't know why I'm getting like a little bit of creaminess from it. It's got a little sweet, but not really sweet. The tomato, the freshness of the onion. I went cilantro crazy. Honestly, I was worried about the jalapeno, but it's just a little bit of heat because there's so much tomato in here. And 
You said you're looking for that that juice, that all that swimming around in there. I could drink it. I could put a straw in that and looks great. Beautiful colors. Looks delicious. Looks like colorful deliciousness. Oh, you're welcome. I love cooking for y'all. I love cooking with y'all. Okay. So we're going to let this sit. I'm going to wipe up. We're going to make a quick tostada with literally the tortilla and the beans from, um, not the beans, no beans for me, the meat from yesterday. And uh, put that on top. Take a picture. Let me have a little bit of limeade. Shout out to the Walmart water. You know who you are. Y'all got me slurping. She says tomorrow it'll taste even better. Okay, that's not elegant. Mateus is mouth wide open. Here you go, sweetheart. All right, I'll get a clean spoon. Let me feed y'all. I need somebody here. Come taste this. Mm -hmm. Some for you. Instagram, some for you, and TikTok, some for you. Greedy. I feel a Maggie roll coming. It's so good! I may add like a little bit more salt and pepper, but honestly, y'all, it's so good. All right, now I'm ready to eat. All right, hurry up, let's move this stuff. Your team says, yes, open the door. Y'all are hungry, Oh, I would feed all of y'all. Hello, uh, Rich Dad, hello, Joseph. Okay, so let us clean this up. Thank you so much, Christina. And again, y'all, Christina just inboxed me. If y'all were with us yesterday, Christina said, I wish you could taste my salsa. Salsa. I said, tell me more. She inboxed me the recipe. I ordered the ingredients. Shout out to the subscriber cooking collab. I love it. All right, so let's move this stuff behind. I'll do a full clean later. But this is excellent. Ooh, I see why you say do as much cilantro as you want. And I'm going to save a little bit for garnish, even though I don't need it. We got cilantro everywhere. Y'all, that's some good stuff. I can see why you might even do that extra tomato just for that extra like sweetness. So good. I love cooking with y'all. This is the highlight of my day. Believe me. Believe me. All right, class. <laughs> Mrs. Ray, make a salsa. But this this was, um, it wasn't a lot, but it was a lot. Y'all know what I mean? If you want like a set it and forget it meal, I think that slow cooker is going to be your option. Yeah, if you need more garlic, salt, and pepper, go for it. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing. I just wanted it to have a little bit more. <sighs> so I just add a little bit of salt and pepper. Y'all? Who needs El Paso? But this is, I mean, look, this is great. If you got time, you know, the family, of course, you know, sometimes you just get the jar salsa and put it on there, but y'all, and this is so beautifully done and made with love. Oh, I meant to take a picture, one sec. Let me try and. Take a picture of just the salsa before I keep eating it. <laughs> try and get it even. and our little cleanup. Don't forget, don't hesitate. Don't be afraid to get close to your food when you're taking pictures. I got a girlfriend who's a photographer. That's one of the things she taught me. I made 
made your day. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Y'all, I love this community. Trust me. I love it. Let me do a quick little video. All right, so tonight we made Christina Gustave's homemade fresh salsa with Roma tomatoes, yellow onion, yellow onion, cilantro. We have um, lemon juice, garlic salt, pepper, and some jalapeno. So flavorful. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, Leanne says she wants me to make her chicken and dumplings when the weather cools down. So we got chicken and dumplings on deck. All right. Mrs. Ray said, I like the ideas. Were you able to see the video, sweetheart? You like the set it and forget it dishes when there are more people? Absolutely. You can set that for eight hours while you're doing other things. All right. Just going to cover this. Move it behind me. Clean the counters. We're going to make a quick tostada. Can you imagine bringing that to like a potluck or bringing it to, oh, I bring, I'll bring my homemade salsa. Hi. I'll set our beverage back here. They'd be like, you made that? Yes, I made that. Christina says, awesome. Absolutely. If y'all got a recipe and you want me to try it, I'll try it. What else am I gonna do? Christina says, yum, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Excuse me. All right, so let's just clean up everybody everywhere. Since the boys are gone, I don't have anybody breathing down my neck. You would have heard the gong gongs by now. All right. So let's get our cooktop. And we're gonna make an open a tostada, which is just an open-based taco, okay? So literally three ingredients. Right. I think I'll keep the salsa here so y'all can see. It just looks so pretty, right? Let's do it. Okay, Mrs. Ray, you saw the video. Leftovers would be good too. Absolutely. So you can see what Christina's doing, the pulled pork. If you like pork butt or any of those kind of meats, you can do that with a jar of barbecue sauce. If you like the ch uh, chicken, you could do the chicken with the salsa. You could do, oh gosh, I don't know, chicken with honey mustard, with Polynesian, with any sauce that has enough liquid, pour the whole jar in there, turn it on, set it and forget it. Go do other things and then in eight hours, just get two forks and literally get in there and just pull it apart and make however you want. Hello, Miss Trina. Thank you so much for being here. Christina says, believe me, girl, we had plenty because plenty, believe me, girl, we had plenty of barbecues when you lived in New Mexico. Oh, you made this and brought it to the barbecue. Hello. I would make a beeline for this so fast. I'd be like, what is that delicious goodness over there? Heck yeah. Okay. Where are we? Focus, Maggie. So here's what we're making. Tostada. So if you already have a crispy corn shell tortilla, that's fine. Y'all know I'm gluten-free. So I'm doing the same cassava tortillas I had yesterday. So we have the cassava flour tortillas and then Y'all were with me yesterday. I feel like we live together. Y'all remember yesterday? There's some taco meat in the fridge. So this is our le leftover taco meat. Y'all remember we made this fresh. It just needs to be microwaved a little bit. So this is the taco meat with the onion that we made, ground beef for me. It could be turkey or whatever you like. Put that in for 30 seconds and then cheese, please. So because I'm dairy free, I'm going to do a goat's cheese. If you can have cow dairy, go ahead and do the, um, what did I use for markets yesterday? The Mexican cheese. Look at 
Look at me, y'all. One time in a row. This was Maggie yesterday. This is the new and improved Maggie. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Christina says, another good thing to make in the slow cooker is a Filipino, Filipino adobo served over rice. Look at Christina with all the recipes. Oh my goodness. Hello, Morgan. Thank you for being here. Uncle Junior Networks has finally got a chance to check out this live. What's up, Maggie? Hello, sir. Welcome. We just made an incredible fresh salsa from scratch. We are going to make a tostada and put it on top. Gosh, look at the juice, Christina. Oh, yeah. You know I'm going to drink that. <laughs> okay, so we used this yesterday for the kids. You can do regular cheese, but y'all know I am trying to avoid cow dairy, so I'm going to do my dairy-free goat's cheese, okay? Not the food police. Do what works for you. I'm your substitute teacher, so I give you all substitutes. Okay, so we got our meat in there. So we're just going to do the tortilla, the um, meat, and then the cheese. I think we might use our melting dome that was gifted to us. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to get one of my gluten-free tortillas. <sighs> Pace, this stuff's made New York City. I know, right? And this is made in Atlanta. All right. So I have a cassava tortilla. I'm just taking it out. I'm looking at the size. So I need to get a um, skillet that's big enough for that. Yes, I am that old lady. That stores pots in the uh, in the oven, the good ones for y'all. All right, let's take a look at this. So before I turn on the stove, I'm putting this down to see is this, yeah, that will fit in there. I probably could use the bigger one, but you just wanna make sure that it goes all the way down. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the stove and I'm just gonna put it on here dry. I'm not spraying. If I sprayed it, it would kind of get buttery like quesadilla. I kind of want to toast it dry in the skillet, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Hello, Vibes. Thank you for being here. My Facebook, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. Neek, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Maggie, the substitute teacher on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. Thank you all for being here. For anyone new here, I do stream every day. Uh, usually Monday through Friday, dinner time East Coast, because I do work from home. I get off my Zoom meetings and then I come in the kitchen with y'all. Uh, and then on the weekends, I try to stream a little bit earlier because I know we have people at different time zones. So welcome everyone who is new. We're just going to let this kind of toast up. Once I get a little bit of brown color, then I'll put it on the other side. Just turn it over by hand. All right. And just so everybody knows, cassava is a Sponsor OMG with the $50. Let me turn this over. All right, just want to get it to brown up. That is so incredibly generous. All right, let me turn this down so I don't burn it. Remove my beverage. Wowzers. I'm so grateful. Thank you. lot of money and I don't take it for granted. You don't even have to be here, but then you come through supporting like that. $50. Uncle Junior, or let me know. I, I put it as JR, but I'll make that a lowercase um, R. Get it right, Maggie. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Wow. Okay, let me clean my hands and toss this over. All 
All right, y'all. So I'm listening. Mom says cook with all of your senses. So here how it's kind of scraping the bottom. That means I'm getting a little bit of uh, crispiness to it. So I'm just going to let it keep doing its thing. Then I'm going to get, I'm going to go ahead and get the meat. Hello, uh, DJ. Go DJ. That's my DJ. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I can't help myself. Actually, I can't help myself. I'm just not going to. All right, so I just warmed up our taco meat from yesterday a little bit while this is warming up. Y'all, I might need two of these. All right, let's let that toast up a little bit. Then we're going to put the meat and cheese. I think we'll do two. Greedy. How many tostadas would y'all eat? I'm doing one meal a day. I had a protein bar and then a protein shake, trying to get the rest of this weight off. I try to save my meals for y'all. Okay, it's starting to come, come together. Come together right now over me. I'm sorry, I can't help it. If you're new here, I have outbursts. They are musical outbursts, but that's just who I am, okay? Love me. All right, y'all. So I've gotten a nice little toasting on here. I'm going to turn this all the way down. Let's go ahead and put some meat on there. Put some meat on them bones. I'm getting excited. I get silly. Geneva says two. Good. I was hoping you would say that. Okay. So I just microwaved the meat. I'm going to try and spread it. And then... I'm going to put our cheese on it. Christina's laughing at me. I know, y'all. I know. Goat cheese for me. Could be taco cheese for you. Have it your way. Y'all know the rest of it. All right, so I do have an Amazon wish list. You all have been so generous to buy me things off the Amazon wish list, one of which is a melting dome. Shout out to one of our scholars. You know who you are. So this is a Cuisinart or Cuisinart. <laughs> it's not a hat. I'm going to put this on top. So the steam just kind of gets the um, cheese to melt. Okay, so we're gonna do one more. Let me go ahead and get a plate, y'all. Getting excited. All right, let me move my salsa behind me. We'll put some of that on top in just a moment. We get a plate, two plate, a big plate platter. All right. All right, let me turn up the heat just a little bit. I get distracted easily and then stuff burns and then y'all laugh at me and it's a whole debacle. All right, so y'all said we're going to do one more. I'll do one more in the larger skillet. So you can see here the cassava tortilla is a little bit more brittle, but when you warm it, it's fine. Cassava is a root vegetable. That's how I stay gluten-free. If you can have um, full flour, please have some for me. That's what I made for Marcus yesterday, all right? And the cheese of your choice, okay? So this is what, this is what I'm using. Okay, I'm on the fence, y'all. I almost want to put a little bit of our corn from yesterday just for a pop of yellow. Corn or no corn? I know I'm not supposed to have it. Okay, so I'm looking. Notice how the edges are getting kind of crispier. I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting for that um, cheese to melt. Let me take a look at the bottom. I want it hot enough that the cheese will melt, but low enough so I'm not burning. Yeah, let me turn it all the way down. 
because y'all I want y'all to see the bottom see it's starting to get kind of brown that's about as far as I want to go so goat's cheese is a little bit drier than um, cow dairy so it's gonna take a little bit longer to melt but it's approved for me hello wannabe thank you so much for being here hello Michael I'm sorry that you uh, missed me I'm here every night y'all I don't know about these interwebs sometimes they send out notifications sometimes they don't so I'm glad you're here I'll show you what we made we're gonna put this on top of our tostada I made Christina's beautiful homemade salsa, fresh salsa. Okay, how are we doing? I think I may want to just get it out because it's, oh yeah. All right, so it didn't melt all the way, but we got some good melting, but I'm looking at the bottom now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. on a wire rack just so it doesn't while the other one cooks just so it doesn't sweat and then I'll move it onto the plate and you know what I'll do I'll put this here so the air gets on the bottom so it stays crispy oh so y'all can see then I'm gonna put the melting dome over top see if that cheese will still melt okay let's do number two and then we'll top them both. All right, so it's gonna go from stiff to soft to a little bit brown. Then we'll put the meat on there. I don't know what y'all say. A little corn or no corn. Hope y'all are doing well. Happy Wednesday. I'm so excited. So I'm just getting here and turning this with my hand. I'm gonna get a little bit of a toast on there. Oh yeah, it's working. Our melting dough is working. I'll show y'all. Then we're just gonna spread some good salsa goodness on there. A little bit of corn for the uh, garnish, like just a couple kernels. Let me start getting everything ready for the picture so I don't look crazy. This was so much fun. While we're waiting on this one to toast, I'll go ahead and give you all the commercials since, ooh, since we had Lauren here. Christina says, I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Me too. All right, so let me give you all the commercial while we're, while we're toasting this last one. Um, if you all like, uh, you all have seen the way that I travel now. If you want to travel with me, hello, William. Come sail away. Come sail away, come sail away with me. All right, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and put the meat on there. Turn that down. Don't want it to brown too much. We have a cruise, Maggie Meetup cruise. Y'all ask for Maggie Meetup. We are doing it on the high seas in November. It is going to be Royal Caribbean. Lauren, our community travel agent is in the chat. If y'all have any questions, it is $200 to reserve your spot, and then you pay the balance by September. Anybody can come. Um, you can come alone, bring your significant other, bring the kiddos. You can do as much as you want with me or nothing at all. Um, where is our cruise? There it is. Oh, that's the background. Oops. Lord mercy, y'all. One of these days, I'm going to get it right. All right, so Maggie Meetup Cruise out of Orlando. I am booked. I have my flight. Let me turn that down, y'all. I feel like, hold on, I smell a little char. I don't want it to, yeah. This one might be a little toasty. The skillet was already hot. Um, we're going to have one event since I am celebrating my birthday on the cruise. We'll have like a Maggie... Um, like meet and greet Q and A, whatever y'all want to do. A little extra cheese on that one. Taco Bell, come get it. All right, let's do this. Focus, Maggie. Oh, hello, Wanda. Hello, On. Thank you so much for being here. All right, I'm gonna take that 
off. But yeah, you can come with the kiddos. You can come with your significant other. We'll do a meet and greet. We'll do a Q and A. That's the only thing that I have planned. Sorry, y'all. I'm bringing you gifts. I want to take this out of the bottom because the bottom is already starting to get kind of. Okay. Let that kind of do its thing. So that's the Maggie meetup, uh, $200 to reserve your space. I think I already said that. And then, um, yeah, we're going to the Bahamas. And uh, y'all have asked to make this annual, so we'll do it every year. Works for me. I think we have one room left to get the uh, private celebration room. So the link is in the description. I will be there with bells on. And um, for anybody who can't come, um, y'all know I've already gotten the internet package. So I'll be streaming every day. Hello, home um, ABK. Um, I'll be streaming so you all can see what I'm up to. All right. Okay. So while, so we have our first one here. Our tostada. Oh, Wendy says, looks awesome. Thank you. All right, we just want that to kind of melt down. So I'm gonna go ahead and style it here and then I'll move it over to the plate. Uh, let's get our salsa. All right. So let's get, um, I'm gonna get a slotted spoon, even though I love all of these juices, I don't want my tostada to get um, uh, soggy because we got like, we got a nice little crust to it. So I'm gonna get a slotted spoon and put our salsa on top. A nice big old healthy portion from the bottom. Who's greedy like me? We want all that good marination. I don't know if that's a word, it is now. All right, so let me try and carefully put this on everything. I think I need another spoon. What do y'all say? I don't wanna be greedy. Feel like that's a good portion. You're like, oh my God, y'all, that looks so good. Michael's saying yummy. All right, then what I wanna do is I wanna put, just for the pop of yellow, y'all remember we made the Mexican corn yesterday, and I don't even know if this is supposed to be microwave, but I'm gonna put, and I don't really eat corn, it's a starchy vegetable, but I just want like this much on here. A little food styling, y'all. Mom said your plate should have three colors at least three colors so i thought the yellow would be nice okay and then <laughs> christina says you know little pinch remember we saved some cilantro just for an extra you could do sour cream i do have my like um or greek yogurt or you know whatever but do I want to put any of that on here? I'll put a little, a little bit. I don't want to mess it up. No, we'll do the goat's cheese. We'll do the goat's cheese. If you don't have, um, you could do sour cream or queso fresco or whatever, but this is crumbled goat's cheese. Just my dairy-free substitute. Okay, this one isn't open. Let me see if I think I have one that's open just for a pop of color. And then we'll do the last one. And I'll let you have your evening. If you can have sour cream, have some for me. All right. So literally just a little.
we can resemble, mimic the queso fresco, you can have that amazing Mexican crumbled white cheese. You could do hot sauce. <sighs> Maggie, you are taking too long to eat. I want to hear that crunch. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. See, this is the thing, y'all. Before I started, thank you for the hearts and the love. The problem is I would like make these plates and then <sighs> just get in there and then it'd be gone. And I'd be like, y'all, but it was so good. And y'all are like, how do we know? Okay. So Geneva says, All right, let's do the other one. So my cheese didn't melt all the way, but it will be all right. Um, salsa. All right, let's move one out of the way so I don't make a mess. And I just have them on the rack so they don't sweat until I'm ready to put them on the plate. I know y'all, I know. Believe me, when I'm home and it's just me, I just get in there. But I want to give you all a good experience. I want you all to see everything. Hello, Rob. Okay. So, you all see your salsa. And I'm just trying to distribute it kind of evenly. I don't want like a big clunk on there. You want every bite to have a piece of this salsa deliciousness that we just made together. Shout out to Christina and her recipe. All right. Now a little bit of goat's cheese. Would y'all be mad if I put hot sauce on here? Should have got some Cholula, right? Okay, I think we're good. A little cilantro. Christina says enjoy. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, finally, ready to plate. Oh, the corn. Just a little bit for the yellow. Okay. Everything tastes so much better the second day. Um, hot sauce. I know I got you in here. Or taco sauce. Oh, I set it out. Yes, it's Taco Bell. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit. Food made with love takes a little bit of time, sweetheart. I'm coming, I promise I'm coming. Okay. I just love to serve and make it look nice. I know this is why I do this with y'all because the boys are like, come on already. Is it ready yet? Greedy. Ah, see, I dropped a piece. Hold up. It's always something. Ah, we lost it. It's okay. It's a tomato. It's fine. I thought it was a piece of meat. Okay. Playtime is over. We are not messing this up. And then just a little extra cilantro on the plate as a garnish. I could get it off of my fingers. Sorry, y'all. All right. Now, Everybody says tomatoes line look so good. Tomato lives matter. I know, right? All right, y'all. All right. Just so it's not so noisy. 
Well, you all can see. Looks so good. Looks good. All right, your dinner is finally ready. All right, let's take a quick picture. Oh, let's put the line just for the photo. Picture. People have told me they just go to the, when they watch the replay, they just fast forward to the part where I'm eating it. And I'm like, it's the whole anticipation, right? Hello, Eric. Hello, Ashland. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's how my YouTube channel started. People said, did you make that? Yes, I made that. All right, so we have our open face tacos here, two tostadas on a cassava tortilla with seasoned ground beef, goat's cheese to keep it dairy-free, cilantro. We have a little bit of Mexican corn. We have our Cristina Gustave homemade fresh salsa that we made here, put on top with a little bit of limeade on the side. Enjoy. All right, y'all, finally, finally. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, delicious, I know. Do I cater? No, sweetheart. I am not a professional chef, y'all. I'm just a mom and a home cooker. And I just do this for y'all and for me, greedy. You know what I'm going to do? Now that we've heard the crunch, I'm going to drizzle some of this salsa juice on here. I want some more of that. Y'all, I'm going to sit down, spike this uh, limeade. One more. No, I, I'm not. I'm not a professional. And honestly, catering, y'all, I have catered. I've done events for like close friends and family members. But, you know, when people are paying for it, there's a different expectation. This is a fun experiment for me. You know, either, you know, like if it doesn't work, it's fine. If it works, it's fine. It looks so good. You want to taste it? Okay, I better stop, y'all. I gave you the commercial, see? Because this is what happens once I start eating. I'm not talking to y'all. Greedy. Thank you, Geneva. Gina says, there's the crunch. Another winner. You waited so long. You waited so long. Y'all, about to put my face in this. I've given y'all the commercial. You already know. Christina says, I'll tell you that sauce is my favorite. I can't stop eating once I make it. Thank you, Christina, for the recipe. If y'all want me to make one of your recipes, inbox me. I'm here every day. Tomorrow we'll be making dessert. Um, same time, evening, East Coast time. Um, I'll give you a hint to my stories. I think we're going to try and do a dupe 
for the windy strawberry frosting. Tomorrow is the um, next elimination for favorite chef. Um, if you all want to vote, you've got me in first place, but the link is in the description. They're going to do the cut from the top 20 to the top 15. Thank you all for voting. You can vote for free every day. I appreciate it so, so much. All right, TikTok. Thank you so much. <clears throat> See you all tomorrow. Class is dismissed once I figure out how. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much, Instagram. Now you have to make some. I know, it was so good. It was so good. Yes, absolutely. This is the uh, tostada and the salsa. So good. All right, Instagram, class is dismissed. All right, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Thank you all. Thank you to Christina for the recipe and walking me through it. I appreciate you so, so much. Yes, you have a blessed night. Gina says, your food always looks delicious. I just know it's good. Great job, Maggie. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you to the stream sponsor, Uncle Junior Network, coming in with the $50. So, so generous. Thank you. Thank you to Clout Chasing for the $10 and the $5 and the $2. I do not take it for granted. All right, y'all. Class is dismissed. I'll see you tomorrow for dessert. All right.